Coach Norvell said that uh, you know, he took the ball first, hoping to try to get a, get a lead and see if you guys could play ahead of time. You guys did score on that first drive. What, what happened after that drive? Like, why do you think the offense kind of bogged down after that? Yeah, um, we, we tried to come out, start fast, um, get, get the game rolling, get on their toes. Uh, up our defense out a little bit and uh, just just put them in a great position, put our team in a great position. Uh, and obviously, just try to continue to build off of that momentum. For both of you guys, your leaders on this team, what's the locker room like right now after a five game losing streak? Have you seen anybody go past? What are the emotions of the guys right now? Brock, Coach, Coach Novell's talked the last few weeks about you know how, how supportive you you and Luke have been of each other as you've kind of been been going back and forth. I guess what what is your relationship like, and and are there are there benefits to how how that's kind of gone of of the back and forth, maybe riding a hot hand a bit, and just giving opportunities to see who who can kind of create things offensively. Yeah, we have a great relationship. Um, hanging out outside of football all the time, super close. Um, he's a great guy. Um, we, we we truly enjoy being around each other. We enjoy being supportive of each other. Um, obviously, we both we're, we're team players. We want what's best for the team. So if it's me, he wants the best. If it's him, I want the best. I want the best for the whole collective team. And then whatever that we can do to put ourselves in a position to help the team is ultimately what we both want. You kind of had a unique career in that you, you started off career with Mike Norvell. You know, started out at eight, three and ten or whatever it was, including that crazy loss in September of the 2021 season. Then you turned it around the way y'all were last year. I know this is your last year, but how much confidence do you have in Coach Norvell to be able to turn this thing back around again and do this again? Uh, I have unbelievable confidence in Coach Norvell. You know, uh, I, you know, I've been here five years. And, uh, I've seen it. Brock, you, uh, you've always seemed like a confident guy no matter what's going on. Um, the coach said he felt like some guys are really confidence was shaken the way this team is going. How hard is that to make, just kind of get the offense going if guys, you know, are having a tough time just kind of staying positive? Yeah, we just got to stick together, uh, honestly, and play, play together um, and, and support each other. That's, that's the biggest piece of it. Football is never going to go exactly how you want it. And just understanding that, um, it's, it's the, the greatest game for a reason. Like, it's never going to be straight highs. Um, so just understanding that, that it's all a part of the plan and all a part of the game. Um, and just trying to, try to bring guys together so that we can all go through it together. Brock, I think uh, I think it was the eighth different offensive line combination of guys today. I think you might have had four different ones in in your four four starts. I guess how do you how do you talk to those guys and your confidence in the the group that's assembled there and and what they can become just as a unit? Yeah, I love those guys. They're awesome. Uh, and you know, no matter who it is, I trust every single guy on that line. Um, they're they're great guys. They're great football players. Um, they, I know they constantly give their all for us. Um, and, and a lot of times their work goes unnoticed, and then if something's not working, it, a lot of times it goes on on them as well. So, you know, I, I love them with with everything in me, and I respect everything that they do, and uh, I'm, I'm going to keep believing in them. I, I truly do trust them, and I appreciate all they do for us.